Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the glory. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's Son channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. <laughs> Child of God, the way they are looking at you, the way these people are looking at you, as if maybe you stole from them. The way, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the way they are looking at you, like, looking at you, like as if you stole something that, <laughs> that belongs to them. Hear me very well. Many of them will confess. Because the reason why they are looking at you as if you are holding their property. <laughs> I just, I God help you. Jesus. The way they are looking at you as if you hold, you hold their property. Like, ah, ah, what, what is going on? You did not hold their property, child of God. They are looking at you in surprise, you know. <laughs> They are looking at you in surprise. Hallelujah. Because they thought that blessings would be withheld from you. They thought that joy and laughter would be withheld. I want to pray for somebody. <laughs> laughter will never cease from your life. Laughter will never cease from your home. Laughter. <laughs> because nothing that triggers demons more than you laughing. <clears throat> Even in, in, when they are like, you should be sad. You are like, ah, I will not be sad. I will laugh. Because the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. I will continue to dance as like David dance. Hallelujah. Say, when the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, I will dance like David dance. Hallelujah. Yes, I will dance again. The way they are looking at us. As if we stole something from them. Have you not seen that kind of look? Have you not seen that kind of look? These are the same people who said that no one will ever look at you. No one. They look at you like you are not doing, you are not going hard enough. Uh -uh. You have done all you can. You don't have to kill yourself. And someone is saying, ah, you are not doing enough. But now, because you remain, you remain in that happiness, despite that which they call not enough. You look at it and you are like, well, this is all that God, if this is all that God is, going, is giving me, it's okay. I will rejoice. But if God wants to multiply, he will multiply. Because he's a God that multiplies the seed of the sower. When you sow joy, he will multiply it. When you sow prayer, he will multiply your answer. When you sow fasting, he will multiply your strength. God is a God that multiplies the seed of the sower. When you sow money, he will multiply it. When you sow time, he will multiply your time. When you sow encouragement, he will multiply your happiness. There is nothing that someone sows from a place of happiness, from a place of sincerity that God will not bless. Anything sowed from, from the heart... God will definitely bless. Hallelujah. They are looking at you as if you stole something from them. Child of God, hear me. A day will come, they will approach you and they will confess. What they thought of you, how, why they were looking at you like that. What they have done against you, they will walk towards you. They will approach you and they will confess. It is that they approach you or they confess in a way that you will hear you did not steal anything from anyone. You living your life is like a film in their eyes. You know? <laughs> the same person that people said is never, is not doing enough. It is the same people that people are looking at now. Child of God, I pray for you. Those that are looking at you because of what they have done against you. And they see that those things are not working in your life. They will confess one after the other. God will expose them. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. 
And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.